Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Grey Remnant here. Today we're going to be playing Crash Bandicoot, and I'm going to be guiding you through it in a calm and concise manner. Because it's a very difficult game, and frankly, I think you guys might need some help. So, well, this will be a, I think, a four-part series? Yeah, four, four sounds good. So, uh, this is a platforming game made by Naughty Dog back in 1996, and it is <laughs> tediously difficult. Uh, basically, I have played through the game. It took me about four hours. I cut out all my deaths, and we're basically going to go through... We're going to go through it level by level. Uh, and that's about it. I'm just going to describe it, and I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks. So this is level one, Insanity Beach, if that's any, you know, clue as to what this game is going to be like. It's going to be very insane. Um, okay, so you want to take a right here at this fork, and you want to get all the boxes, obviously. All right, now, this is tough. You're gonna wanna jump on every box on this uh, little makeshift bridge here. The key to this is you don't wanna uh, undershoot the box, because if you undershoot it, you're gonna fall into the cliff and die. If you overshoot it, you can, you know, compensate and go back and get the box that you missed and then, you know, go forward again. It's tough to do, you might die doing it, but it's not guaranteed death. So that's it for the first level. Pretty easy, right? Get all the boxes and not die, you get a gem like that one. In order to get 100% in the game, you need 26 gems. So, one out of 26. Now, the second level here, you don't want to get all the boxes. The reason being is because sometimes in this game, there are colored gems that you have to collect. And they're, al they're almost all later in the game that you, that you can get them. Um, and so, uh, this level requires green gem, I'm thinking? Not really sure. Uh, it requires a colored gem, and we don't have it. And you can't have it this early in the game, and so there's no point in getting all the boxes. Just go through the level as quickly as possible. This is an easy level. You just have to dodge these rolly things. I don't know the technology that makes those roll indefinitely, but there's there's something that's making them rolling. I don't know what it is. Maybe you guys can help me out, because I can't figure it out. Um, so that's about it. Uh, in, in many of the levels, you'll find these uh, masks in some boxes, and if you collect three of them, you go to a bonus stage. Now, if you get to the bonus stage and beat it, you could save your game. I'm not going to do that at any point in this playthrough, because I don't need to save my game. This is all going to be done in one, you know, sitting. It's not necessary. But uh, you will, because it's the only way to save your game. If this is your first time playing it, you need to get those bonus things. <laughs> you really do. So, uh, that that's it for this level. Pretty simple. We're not going to get a gem, because we didn't get all the boxes. But that's okay. Now, the Great Gate, level three also requires a colored gem, and it's right at the end, it's a yellow gem that you need, um, and it actually extends the level, and it allows you to go to, like, a, a, a secret extra area where you get more boxes, but again, we don't have that gem, and so we have no choice but to, uh, oh, that's one of the masks right there that you just saw, um, avoid the turtles, walking into the turtles will kill you, uh, I know they don't look very deadly, but they, they are, trust me, those turtles will fuck you up, dude, Alright, now here you'd want to bounce on these metal boxes. It's pretty easy. I don't think it's that difficult. And remember, when you're getting gems in this game, you can't uh, use checkpoints. Because if you die, you don't get the gem. And so, uh, but we're not going for the gem right now, so that don't worry about it. Oh, these guys are tough. Okay, so the guys with the shield that I just killed, you just have to jump on them. Uh, if you run straight into them, they will push you off the cliff and kill you. So you want to jump on them and then spin into them, like I did just there. Watch out for the monkey! Okay. Be careful of the monkeys, okay? And that guy you can just ignore. You don't have to kill them. I mean, it does, they don't count as boxes. In case, in case you're wondering that, which you might be wondering. No. Enemies don't count. It's not like Spire of the Dragon, where you have to get all the enemies to get all the gems. No. And you can hear the end of the level coming up, just here on the on the left. And those are the yellow gems. So if you have the yellow gems, you can cross that bridge and keep going. Alright, level four, boulders. This one, you can get the gem in. You don't need any colored gems uh, to get all the boxes. So we're going to get all the boxes. Now, this level has an interesting dyna dynamic. Uh, boulders chase you. Because why not? Um, yeah, so you basically just run from the boulder. I will tell you this right now, if you slow down at all or hit an obstacle while you're running from the boulder, the boulder will get you. I kid you not. There is no room for error in this level. If you hit this thing there, don't hit that. Jump over them. And I like to do little jumps. I like to just tap the X button. I don't like to uh, do big jumps because if you jump too high and too far, you might not have enough room to jump over the next uh, uh, obstacle. 
And so here they just make a jump on pillars. The pillars are actually pretty easy. Now follow the fruit here because you don't want to hit any of these little uh, barriers because if you do hit them, you're going to die. And get all the boxes while you're going because that's the only way you can get the gem. And again, if you do die, don't worry about it. Just go back to the map and start over. It's not that big of a deal. I hear the end of the level, which means we're going to get gem. Oh! All right. Easy enough. That's two of 26. So, you know, we're getting there. Upstream, you cannot get the gem in this level, so don't worry about the boxes. There's a mask back there. Masks are extra hit points. If you get masks, uh, it increases the number of hits you can take before you die. Uh, I'm rushing through this level. You don't have to rush. There's no time limit. Uh, those lily pads will sink, like, two seconds after you step on them, so you do have to go kind of fast. Uh, and the same thing applies to those uh, man-eating plants. Those are also uh, on a time delay. Watch out for the fish. The fish will kill you. I don't know why the fish kill you. I mean, they're, they're fish. I would think they just bounce off you and you just laugh it off. Nope, they kill you. So, yep, get the mask because masks are good. That one right there is um, not on a time delay. Those things, like that one right there, will chomp every two seconds. And so you have to time it that way. And with the moving leaves, which somehow move both up and downstream, I don't know how that's possible. They do. Uh, just take your time on them. It's not that big of a deal. And you can see the gems there. Those are orange gems. Uh, you need them to, to, to get the gem there. Okay, now this is Papu Papu. First boss of the game. Um, pretty easy, to be honest. So here's what you do. He's going to do that. Jump on his head. There you go. It's as simple as that. This guy's easy. I took a hit there. It's okay. You get uh, three hit points when you're uh, fighting bosses. So, and you just hit his head three times. That's it. Done. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. That was the entire boss. Okay. So, next level. Rolling stones. Now, you cannot get the gem here yet. I know, I know. It's getting it's getting old, but no, you got to you got to be patient. You have to get all the colored gems before you can get uh, some of the earlier gems in the game. So this one is kind of like that uh, other one, the second level in the game. Uh, it's pretty similar. It's not that difficult. Uh, there's a Brio stage in here. Uh, the Brio stages are kind of like the other bonus levels, but you can't save your game after you beat them. Those are just for getting like lives and they're a little bit more difficult. Uh, they usually involve TNT and stuff like that, but, uh, again, you don't have to do it. It's bonus. It doesn't count for getting all the boxes. It's just a bonus stage. Uh, and I'm obviously not doing it to save time. If you want to do it, go ahead. Be my guest. I don't really care. All right, so now I'm invincible again, which is great. Watch out. That platform falls there. Uh, it can be easy to overlook that. And there's the blue gem that you need in order to get to the secret area. Go figure. Uh, we don't have the blue gem, so we're not going to do it, and we're not going to get the gem. But that's okay, because we can just come back later. And I hear the end of the level. I hear it. Oh. And that mask right there was a Brio uh, thing. So Hogwild is next. In this level, you ride a hog through an obstacle course, and uh, you collect all the boxes and avoid uh, the guys and the spikes and the... There's other pigs on spits that you have to jump over sometimes. You know, you just jump here, weave your way through it. Don't forget to get the boxes. If you miss a box, just go back to the beginning. It's not that big of a deal. You know what? Jump here. Stay to the right here. Do not run into that guy. Now you want to go left. And now you want to jump on this barrel. If you run right into it, you're going to die. Stay to the right. Jump over the spikes. Checkpoint. That's always good. Stay to the right, and then go to the left. And don't forget to get all these boxes. These are easy to miss, and if you do miss it, don't worry about it. Just go back to the beginning. Stay to the right. Jump over this spit pig, whatever. I don't know what to call it. Now, you want to stay underneath this one. Don't jump. It'll kill you. You want to jump over this one. Jump over the spikes, and stay to the right. And there you have it. Gem for you, if you got all the boxes and didn't die. So that's three of 26. Doing pretty good. Native Fortress. Okay, this level you cannot get the gem because you don't have a colored gem. It's okay. The red gem I believe you need uh, to, to, to get the gem in this level. And I don't think you get the red gem until much, much later. Spin into everything except the guys with the shields. And uh, a thing to, to note about the monkeys is that if you spin into them when they're rolling, they will bunce you off the cliff and kill you. Okay, very annoying. Uh, so try not to do that. 
Uh, you want to just jump and spin into these things, and uh, they become platforms. I think I I think you've seen this before. It's not that you know, not that big of a deal. Just take it slow. You don't want to rush uh, with this because if you rush, I guarantee you a spike is going to get you right in the face or you're going to land in some fire and it's not going to be good. And I don't have a mask currently, so I don't have any hit points. Uh, watch out for this guy. Jump on him, get the box, and then kill him. If you kill him without getting the box, I don't think you can get the box. Which is problematic. With the plants, you actually can jump on them. Um, and it's no problem. They can't get you if you jump on them, even if they're snapping at you when you make contact. Again, avoid these. These guys are so annoying. I hate them. Oh, those green platforms. I don't know if, I don't know if you've noticed, but they you slide on them. So you gotta be aware of that. Now here, this is interesting. Get all the boxes as quickly as you can. Now jump on top, or... What you can do is you can jump on top of the metal box and then jump right when the TNT explodes. And that works. Uh, but I didn't do that because I'm chicken shit and I... I was afraid of dying when I did this. So yeah, just uh, spin into these things. Uh, these things do go back to to the original rotation, so it is timed. You do have to do it relatively quickly. Um, there's a mask at the left up there. Just grab it and go back. Masks are always nice. Even for people who consider themselves pros at this game. I consider myself to be fairly professional at this game. I always get the mask. It's... Makes the game much easier. You want to jump when the one nearest you goes down on that one. If that makes any sense. And I got hit there. It's okay. We had a mask. The key here is to just take your time. There's really no time limit here. I'm not taking my time because then the video would be longer and I want to be as short as possible. Just jump over the spot. Now wait for the fire here. The fire dictates when you go. Watch out for the plant. And those are red gems. So uh, if you have the red gem, uh, you can go up to a secret area. It takes you up to the clouds or something. You get a bunch of other boxes as well as some wumpa fruit, which is nice. But we don't have the red gem. So and there's nothing you can do. I mean, you, you just don't have it yet. Uh, I've got what level you... Oh, you know what? I know what level you get the red gem on. It's the... It's a really difficult level in the on the third island. Oh, four lives. Nice. You just want to jump up here. The end of the level is right up here. And to get those boxes on the right there, you just jump on top of them. And uh, but I'm not going to because we, we're not going to get the gem anyway because we didn't have the red gem. Okay, so island two. We're making some progress. Up the creek. Now, you can get the gem here. There is no color gem required to get all the boxes in this level, so just get all the boxes you can. There is a trick here, and don't worry, I'll tell you when it comes, and I'll guide you through it. It's not that big of a deal. It's uh, it's difficult to find uh, two boxes in this level, but uh, if you know how to do it, it's not that big of a deal. And with the leaves, just time it. It's not, you're no rush. I'm in a rush, you don't have to be. Now watch out for the monkey! There you go. Remember, when you spin into them, when they're moving, you go into the water. Basically. I mean, there's, there's no getting out of it. And keep in mind that the lily pads are on a time delay, so they will sink after a short period of time. So you do have to hurry your way through the, the lily pads. Watch out for the fish as well. Again, I, I don't think a fish could kill a bandicoot, but in this game, yes, it does. Maybe they're piranhas. I never thought of that. And watch the monkey. Make sure you don't... Now, this you have to time. You have to time it perfectly, like I did right there. Uh, again, most most of the difficult stuff in this game is timing, except for one level where you actually are timed, and you have a time limit. Alright, now here's where the secret boxes are. Now there's a metal box here with an exclamation point. Jump on it, which can be uh, easier said than done. Now you want to wait for those lily pads to come back, and you want to go backwards. Trust me. Because that metal box that you hit makes those two boxes on the left there appear. You want to hit the TNT and then just jump back up on the bouncy box. And the TNT will blow up the bouncy box and itself. And you've got those two hidden boxes. Uh, if you miss those boxes, you don't get the gem. So it's it's required that you get those. And just keep going. This is not a difficult level by any stretch of the imagination. 
You just have to take your time and relax. It's not that big of a deal. Now, I'm gonna accidentally go to the bonus stage here. Oops, doesn't matter. Now, if you die in a bonus stage, it does not count for the gem. You do not have to get all the boxes in the bonus stage. You don't have to do any bonus stage. It's strictly bonus. So I just killed myself right off the bat to get out of it because there's no point in doing it. I don't need to save my game. And there's the end of the level. So if you got all the boxes and you didn't die, this should be gem number four. Yeah, gem number four. Gem number four. All right, boss number two. This is Ripper Roo. He's like a demented, psychotic kangaroo. So he jumps in a pattern. So the first stage, he's jumping in like a triangle pattern on the bottom of the screen. See how he's jumping on the same platforms every time? You want to hit the TNT and blow him up. It can be difficult. You just have to get the timing right. So I would hit it just about now. And that's how you damage him. Now this time he is going to jump in a different pattern. I don't know how to describe it. You'll see. He just jumps in the same exact way every time. And I missed. Not that big of a deal. Again, there's no time limit. Don't worry about it. But I got him this time. Now the final phase of this, he's going to jump in a diamond formation. So he's going to jump in a diamond formation. There you go. I think that's pretty accurate. Now you want to hit that just as he's jumping on the opposite platform, and that will finish him off. Like I did right there. So that's it. Pretty easy. Oh, the Lost City. Okay, so if you could beat this level, getting all the boxes and not dying, you will get a color gem. You will get the green gem. Now here you want to get the bouncy box and the life, and you want to kind of jump around the, the metal boxes. It can be tricky, but once you've practiced it, it's not that big of a deal. Now the lizards down here, you can't spin into. They will bunce you off the cliff if you try to do it. Now this one doesn't have a cliff. He's in a kind of like an alcove, so it's okay with that one. But just keep that in mind. You can only jump on the lizards. I don't really know why. Um, I've never really understood it. Watch out for the bats. They will hurt you. You want to stay in those alcoves and avoid the bats as best you can. Now, you want to jump on this box. There's actually a metal box hidden on top of that one. And when you hit it, it makes another box appear uh, up ahead. And it's that one right there. And if you want to jump on it and get the Brio mask, you can. You don't have to. It's not required. You actually can't spin into the bats uh, to kind of buy yourself some time. But I don't recommend it. It's risky. Now, up here, you want to jump at the top of that thing, like I just did. You get a mask because there's a mask hidden up there. They're tricky. Um, you want to take your time with the bats because if you rush it with them, they're going to kill you every time. Uh, there's nothing hidden on top of those boxes in there, so don't worry about it. Checkpoint, which we won't need because we're going for the gem. Now, you want to jump on top of him to get the mask, but you don't need to get it. There's a life there, too. I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, one life isn't worth the risk. That was right there. Now, here you have to time your jumps because these platforms go in and out kind of like second by second. You really have to time it uh, correctly. So take your time. It's also important to note that if you fall here, you don't die. You just go back to the beginning. Uh, you want to hit this metal box because it'll make more hidden boxes appear. And again, if you want the gem, that's not optional. That's a requirement. All right. This, and you can, did you hear that? The boop, 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 boop. That's the boxes kind of materializing or whatever. They're actually in that, uh, they're behind that barred cage. And you all watch out for this guy. He jumps at you. You have to jump on him again. Don't spin into them. Get these boxes. There's a Brio mask in there. You don't have to get it if you don't want to. But you do have to break the box. You just don't have to pick it up. Now these things, they tilt when you jump on them. And watch out for that guy. And just jump back and then jump forward again. That usually works pretty well. Now, this is pretty easy. It looks tricky. Just as soon as the bats pass, just run. And you're good. Pretty easy. Now here, you want to wait for all of the things to retract simultaneously. So wait till all three come out and all three retract. There. Now run. That's how you do it. That's just a normal thing. Nothing difficult. Now this guy, you don't want to kill him. Because there's a box up there. You need to spring off that guy's head when he's in the middle and get the box. If you kill him and don't get the box, you're going to have to start over. And this is a fairly long level, and that could be quite uh, annoying. Now here you want to jump on the lizard. Stop. Don't go again. Now this one, you want to jump onto the platform and then jump onto the lizard. 
and then wait for the bats and then go up again timing is everything in this game and i accidentally went to the bonus stage doesn't matter we'll just commit suicide and go right back <laughs> this doesn't matter you got more of these tilty platforms here you want to just jump as quickly as you can off of them because otherwise you're going into the pit now here you want to there's a way to do this without getting hurt, but I have two masks at this point, and I messed up. It doesn't matter. Now, this guy, you don't want to kill, because there's another box up there. You got to spring off him just like you did the last guy and hit that metal box, because they'll make those two boxes appear. Those box auto boxes automatically break. I don't know why. They just do. So now, we get the green gem. Hey! And the green gem is useful, uh, because you can't do some of the levels without it. Now, this level, Temple Ruins, uh, fairly difficult. Uh, you don't need a colored gem to get all the boxes, uh, but having said that, it's a tough level. You want to watch out for these spear traps, uh, and those platforms that I'm jumping across, they do fall after a period of time, after like a second. Um, get the TNT. Watch out for the snakes. Whenever you see that hole, a snake is going to pop up and try and get ya. Now, there really is nothing I could see about the jumps I'm doing right now other than practice makes perfect. Uh, if you're first time, if you're playing this for your first time, those jumps are going to be hard. But uh, if you know how they work, it's not that big of a deal. There's a spider here. You want to just spin into him. Spiders are annoying, both in real life and in this game. Now, this platform will move. I don't know the technology that makes this platform move. I really, I don't understand it. Some sort of and I hurt myself because I was rushing. Don't rush. Don't do it, ladies and gentlemen. There is nothing to gain from rushing in this game. In the second and third games, yeah, there's a point in rushing because there's these things called time trials, but not in this game. So don't worry about it. Just take your time. Watch out for the things that will crush you. All right, now this you got time perfectly because that thing in front will fall. So you got to wait till that elevator is right at the right spot like I did. Now, yes, I know, right? Surprising, there's a hidden platform. Because they do they do shit like that sometimes. Now, don't forget to hit these boxes. Because if you don't, you're not getting your gem. And that ain't good. Just get all the boxes you can. Not all you can, all of them. If you don't get all of them, you just lost. And you must now start over. Now, these... I'm doing it quickly. I'm making it look easy. That is not easy. Be careful on that part there. <laughs> Those don't fall unless they're at the end of their track, if that makes any sense. These things right here. Again, practice makes perfect. That's why I'm doing it so quickly. I've done it a million times. I've lost many times on them. Three lives. It's kind of nice. And again, with these jumps. Again, forward jumps in this game are tough because you can't really see where you're going to land. When you're jumping from the side... It's, it's a lot easier, but uh, those are tough. And just jump to the, the end of the level. And uh, we got another gem. Yay! Da -da -da! Okay, Road to Nowhere. This level is extremely difficult, but guess what? We can't get the gem because you need a color gem to do this one. I think you need the red one uh, to do this level. And we don't have it. Now, the red pieces of wood fall after a period of time. The broken pieces, you can't stand on at all. And the the sort of birch pieces, those you could stand on forever. And those that one I just went on, those are icy. And so you'll slide on them. It's so complicated. It's just And those boars, you cannot spin into them. You have to jump over them. You can't kill them at all. They're invincible for some reason. I don't know. Remember, you don't have to get all the boxes your first time through because we don't have the red gem. We're not gonna be able to get the all the boxes anyway. And the getting all the boxes in this level is actually kind of tricky. There's a uh, puzzle uh area kind of like a puzzle uh we'll get there eventually it should be in like the second or third video i would imagine we'll we'll get there um practice makes perfect here you guys <laughs> there's no trick you just have to do it a lot and get used to it because you could easily over or undershoot any of these jumps and if you do you're going into the abyss <laughs> just take it slow Get a feel for it. Practice and die a lot. I know. It's the only way to do it. And there you have it. There's a bonus stage here. Now, with the turtles, you don't want to kill them. Because you need them to jump over these uh, pits. 
just a makeshift turtle trampoline. And I could hear the end of the level, can you? Pretty much easy. Uh, well, I made it look easier.